Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another edition, Star Citizen 3.1. Insert numerical value here. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, Star Citizen 3.1.3. Uh, now, there has been a rather large point of contention, uh, that I want to share with all of you. Uh, some of you may already be aware of this point of contention, while a good portion of you may not. Uh, and it has to do with the recently unveiled Genesis Hercules Starlifter. Um, now, as some of you might know, Genesis Star Lifter recently went on sale for concept, uh, in the early, bo uh, early bird, uh, sale, which for concierge members, you get, uh, an email telling you, hey, you can now buy this ship early if you so choose. Um, and I was fully fucking intending on picking up one of the versions, more than likely the, uh, the A2, I think it was, the, like, bomber, uh, fighter, crazy gunship version, because I just, I love that shit. So, I go through my hangar, uh, I clear up a, a good amount of money worth, not all of it, uh, was totally planning on picking one up. I had cleared out just about $500, uh, worth of, uh, store credit to put towards the Hercules. So, I go to the, uh, the page, I find the version, there's like, you know, the, I think there's the C2, the A2, uh, and I think there was one more version, A2 being the one that I wanted. So, I go to the non-Warbond version. I'm just about to add to, uh, to cart when I spied something in the uh, description. Six fucking month insurance. What the fuck? Okay. Now, some people are saying, oh, well, what's the big deal? LTI isn't a big thing. Oh, you're just putting a bigger value on it. No, 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 no. No, actually, I'm. Whoa, okay, let's completely spin the fuck out. Um, no, actually, I'm not. Sig is now putting this value on it. Now, from my recollection, okay, from like 2015, they said going forward, all concept ship sales pledges are going to come with LTI. That is a big thing. The Hercules is not a small ship, okay? It's not like, oh, I don't know, an Aurora, which is going to have significantly cheaper insurance costs, all right? The Hercules, being the size that it is, with the equipment that it has, is going to be exponentially more expensive. I mean, you know, once the game actually becomes live and they get all that shit in order. Now... Uh, I find it severely insulting to backers who have pledged so much money into this uh, that we are now being abused in that we are being shafted to the highest degree. Concept ship sales, especially of this caliber and price range and size, it is unfucking acceptable uh, that it doesn't have LTI. Now, I realize this might be a very terrible attempt at mitigating the gray market. If you don't know what I'm talking about, what people will do, especially in like uh, on Reddit and you know on the, on um, uh, Star Citizen trades, when these concept ships uh, come out, they'll buy a huge amount of them with credit melt and buy, uh, I'm sorry, they'll buy and then melt them, and then come back 24 hours later, and do it over again, and basically stash away a fuck ton of buybacks so they can sell later on at a slight premium. I understand that they are probably trying to mitigate that in a sense, 
but completely shafting us is not the fucking way to go. All right. If anything, the uh, credit purchases should have one or two. Uh, uh, well, purchases that you can make that come with LTI, and then all subsequent credit purchases are the six months. Because I personally pledge the amount that I have, so that way I can do something similar where, you know, okay, I've got a Phoenix, and now, you know, the 600i comes along, and, you know, maybe I think, oh, that's a much better luxury ship, so I'm gonna take the 350 that my Phoenix is and kick in the extra 50 or 100 bucks to make up the difference and get my LTI. Um, because, again, ships of that size are going to be way more expensive to insure comparatively to something small like an Aurora. Let's take the Reclaimer, for instance. If you were to uh, put a claim on a Reclaimer, it's going to be much more expensive than putting a claim on an Aurora. Um, and I find this just absolutely bullshit and completely insulting. Now, some people point to the 100i, uh, and that that credit only had the six month. Again, with such a small ship, that's fine. It's only going to cost you probably a hundred credits or something to, you know, ensure that and or replace it. Whereas you get something, you know, of a much higher size and, you know... Good luck, fucker. And, of course, watch. I bet you the reclaimer is not going to work for me. Um, but I'm incredibly pissed off. And I feel very insulted that they did this. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, I, I, I took a slight poll on the Discord channel. If you're not in the Discord, I highly suggest you jump on there. I'm trying to be a little bit more active in it. Um... You know, keyword is trying. Um, oh, look, that actually goes all the way down now. That's freaking awesome. Um, but, again, I think this is some shady-ass shit. SIG is completely destroying all the good faith and the community in one fell swoop. I jumped on Spectrum. I voiced my opinion. I jumped on the forum. I voiced my opinion. I even shot an email... To support because this is complete bullshit I'm about to refund about six hundred dollars worth of ships so I can buy the goddamn ship that I want because this is batshit abso fucking literally batshit crazy am I being a little bit salty yeah do I have a right to be you bet your ass I do um, I don't want to seem like I'm boasting or bragging but I have spent a considerable amount of uh, money on this project, mainly because I believed in it, and due in part because I was given the promise... Oh, no seats. Fuck. I was given the promise that I would be able uh, to use credits to purchase concept ships. Let me just kill myself real quick. Oh, yeah, this is fucked. Um... So taking that away seems like a huge insult and an even bigger slap in the face to the long time and large dollar value backers. Oh, and of course I'm back at fucking Levski. Um, I don't know. I think this is just complete bullshit. Um, I want you to weigh in. What are your thoughts? Do you think like I um, and that taking LTI away from credit concept sales is bullshit or are you one of the whales that has an innumerable amount of money to spend in cash and you could give a flying fuck um let me know down in the comment sections i am very curious to know what your guys' thoughts are because i for one think this is complete bullshit because of this um i think my wallet is fucking closed now um in fact i think I don't think I'm going to be buying anything anymore. Uh, this is complete bullshit. I was going to put at least 200 new cash in to get that A2. Now, I think I want to take some money out because this, this is ridiculous. I have long 
been uh, pro sig. I call them out on bullshit practices, but I give credit where credit is due. They are doing some great stuff, and other things like this are nothing short of shady as fuck. Um, this is now incentivizing the pay-to-win dynamic, because now you actually have to pay fresh new cash in order to get something that has been a constant. On top of that, everything, all my ships are broken. On top of that, um, they are, I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, on one hand, I can see this as partly, like I said, mitigating the gray market sales, but there should be at least one or two credit purchases that come with the LTI. And again, not only that, but they did not properly announce or um, bring this point across to everybody. And that is bullshit. Um, so I want you to weigh in. What are your thoughts? I think I'm going to leave the video here because I just wanted to get something out because this is complete and utter trash that they are doing this. I am so upset uh, and I really think I'm going to start refunding some things to get some money out because this is not right. I'm not going to fully pull out, um, but I want what I was told we'd be able to have. Uh, look back at the pledge that they gave. Um, look back at, you know, and, and the thing that gets me, right, is with these new concept sales, uh, there is little to no information that comes out with them nowadays compared to things like when the Orion came out where they had design briefs and all these other documents that you could read about and get some information on. Now, okay, yeah, the page looks a little bit more fancy, but there's near zero information about it. Look, if you have access to it, look at the concierge newsletter that you got on the Hercules. It's a, it's basically anecdotal shit. It's basically some guy, or from the perspective of some guy in the military saying, oh, the Hercules was big, and I was just in awe and how big it was, and it can carry tanks, and it's so big. And that's basically it. So we're supposed to not only make a decision off this anecdotal blurb, but have no information on the stats, the data, and then they take away LTI on top of it? Get the fuck out of here. That is bullshit. And then, another person posted Nubifier's video about, oh, everyone should, should have LTI on their ships. No, they shouldn't. LTI is a perk for um, taking a gamble. And that's my point. We're taking a gamble on these concept ships that we have now, especially fucking zilch on for information. They should at least extend the courtesy of giving us LTI, at least on one or two, uh, I would actually go so far as to say three, purchases with credit and then, and then you get the six months. But the first two or three, at least one credit purchase, should have LTI. That's how you would mitigate the gray market properly and still have the good faith and not be spitting on the backers that have been with you for so long, have pledged so much time and money, uh, you know, and still have, you know, some sort of um, remedy to this instead of just saying, Fuck you, pay me. You like. Fuck you, pay me. Because right now, I feel like they're basically saying, fuck you, pay me. Your money is not as good as new money. Even though a lot of us were there when they needed it the most. And that is what gets me. And now some people will say, oh, well, they need the money for the funding and this and that. They've brought up 108... 200 million actually now okay and that's not counting subscribers that's not counting all the extra merch and that's not counting all the um, the deals that they make with companies like AMD Intel so on and so forth if they need the money cool incentivize the war bond purchases like they like they did with this one wherein you also get a tank or a cyclone don't don't penalize the older backers 
or the larger um, the larger backers with this six month insurance shit because that is nothing short of insulting so I'm going to leave the video here uh, my, my back's kind of killing me right now I need to lie down but what are your thoughts I want you to weigh in tell me down below in the comments tell me in the discord better yet go into spectrum and voice your opinions there because that's the only way that they are going to know how we feel so <coughs> I'm gonna leave the video here I am I am quite outraged I think it is complete bullshit uh, well outraged is is a bit of uh, I'm being a little facetious I am upset and annoyed and I think it is it is bullshit so fuck that noise right there <sighs> so I want you to tell me what you think um, tell me down below if you like this video, please leave a like, as that lets me know you like to hear me bitch, whine, moan, and complain. <laughs> um, and then it tells me if you also share my thought and sentiments. Um, other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. All you beautiful bastards out there, you have yourselves a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, whenever, wherever you just so happen to be. This has been Will. Peace.